welcome back to my channel for another pregnancy update. Today's update is so, so special because I'm not only sharing with you guys week 28 of pregnancy, but I'll also be sharing with you guys my first ever baby girl haul. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Michelle, welcome. We currently have three little boys at home, a nine-year-old, a seven-year-old, and a 18-month-old little boy, and we are expecting our first little girl ever, so buying pink stuff and baby girl hauls are just so, so exciting to me. I love all of the planning and all of that when it comes to little girls. Of course, I love the little boy aspect as well. It's all I've ever known, but this is just so exciting. And I'm just like, I'm in awe to get to finally have a little girl and make it feel really, really special. I have never once in the past nine years since having kids felt like my family was as complete as it is now. She is going to fit right in. She's gonna have brothers who love her so, so much and it's just such a gift to be able to have a little girl and get to experience both ways. So with that being said, I am doing it this way today because I don't have a ton of stuff to talk about for week 28. I don't want this to be redundant and repetitive weekly. I know that you guys like weekly updates and love to see my bump, which is awesome. I'm so, so thankful and grateful for you guys, but I just didn't want to talk about the same thing week after week. I will, however, start off by telling you guys the baby stats, a few little things, and then we will move on to this haul. So the first thing I want to share with you guys are baby stats. So it says the baby at 28 weeks is about 2.2 pounds, so she's definitely packing on the weight. She is also about 14.8 inches long. She is the size of an eggplant if you refer to your baby as a fruit or a vegetable, and this is the third trimester, so officially the third trimester. I remember last week telling you guys that 27 weeks, I considered it being the third trimester, which I still do, but every app at 28 weeks guarantees that you're in the third trimester so that is super exciting as for me symptoms basically the same I've been feeling a little bit more achy a little bit more tired but that is super common as your baby's packing on the weight and taking a lot of nutrients from you I have also really been watching my diet this week to not gain an excess amount of weight so I've cut down I think on calories not excessively I'm not dieting or anything like that just trying to watch the weight in the last portion of my pregnancy while I'm still feeling fine. I know that I need to add calories in the third trimester. I'm just trying to be really mindful, eating some oatmeal, a lot of whole foods and stuff like that. And I don't find that they're as filling maybe, but I don't know. Doing a lot of protein smoothies, adding some spinach and stuff like that as well. If you guys would be interested in seeing what I'm eating in my third trimester, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to film something like that for you guys. Just give you guys my whole perception on what I'm eating right now. As for Braxton Hicks and all of that, that is still ongoing. My ocular migraines have gone away so far. Knock on wood for now. I know that they can come back because they were really heavy in the end of my pregnancy with Easton. But for now, I have no ocular migraines, which is super awesome. And besides that, I actually did my glucose test this week. I'm a little bit later. I just kind of waited after the holidays. The doctor said as long as I do it by the time I'm 28 weeks. And I am seeing the doctor today. So when you see this video go out, I'm seeing the doctor. So I will get some news on my glucose and make sure that my blood sugar and all of that is fine. That kind of sums up what's going on in week 28. So I'm gonna jump into this baby haul right now so that you guys can see all of the cute, adorable little girl stuff that I got. Oh my goodness, I think my closet threw up pink. I've never seen so much pink since I was like six. It is crazy, but I'm just so, so excited. It's like, oh. Anyways, so I'm gonna jump in, show you guys everything that I got. Hopefully I can run through it really, really quickly so this video is not like an hour long. And then I will finish off by showing you guys my bump at the end of this video. I'm gonna start off by showing you guys all of the accessories and items that I got for baby girl. And then I will show you guys all of the clothing items that I got afterwards. All right, so the first thing that I ended up getting are these muslin swaddles. We really love the Aiden and the Nye brand. Now I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see them. There's just like these light pinks and whites here. I love really neutral colors and I wanted to make sure that they were light and nice. And Aiden and I is such a really good brand. My toddler right now probably still has about 12 of these that he uses. He uses them for sleep right now and things like that. But when they're newborns and small babies, I like to use them to nurse, cover baby's car seat, have a clean, safe place for them to play on the floor, um, to cuddle with, anything that you want to cover up your baby. 
and swaddle them and all of that. These are perfect. I ended up having those wrap swaddles when Easton was little, but I found the Velcro super loud and annoying at night. It would wake my husband up. It would kind of startle the baby and have him more awake than what I wanted him to be at night. So these were definitely a perfect option. Obviously, they're a little bit harder to swaddle than those Velcro ones, but these are definitely worth the price. And they only get softer as you wash them, so I am super happy with these. I also showed you guys these swaddles in my... 27 week update, but I want to show you guys again in case you guys are popping by for the first time These are the Lulu Joe swaddle blankets, and I just really really like these feathers on them These were actually gifted to me by a friend of mine, so I'm super happy with them I like this brand as well. I had these two brands for Easton, and I really like them both So I'm super happy and again, they're just white with like touches of color and pink and they're super cute the next thing I got are these mini muslins and these are going to be good for um, burping and just like holding on while I'm nursing or things like that. I really like the big ones for swaddling and covering up car seats and stuff. But this is just a three pack and these will be really nice. These are 28 by 28 inches. So not half the size of the other ones but still um smaller so they definitely serve a purpose so i'm happy that we got these as well moving on to the kind of fun accessories that are definitely not necessary are just these super adorable bows so we ended up getting these ones right here which are like a light gray kind of like a white creamed color with sparkles on it and then just a pink one these will also be super cute for her i know she's not going to have loads of hair from zero to six months because none of my babies did but they are going to be just super cute to dress out with like a cute outfit or something like that she is my first girl, so I'm definitely going to deck her out when it comes to accessories and stuff without going over the top, obviously, but I definitely wanted to get her some cute items. So we also ended up getting these ones. This is just a little gold um, heart one. We also got a little bow like this one and then this little pink one right here. And then lastly for bows for zero to six months, we got this little denim one. We also got this little floral pattern and then this pink. I wanted to get a few different colors to match different outfits that she'd be wearing. And I figured she'd probably be wearing a lot of these colors. So I'm just super happy with those. I'm also thinking of getting her some wrap ones. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have a little girl, what kind of bows or headbands or head wraps that you guys prefer. If there's any small shops or Etsy shops or Instagram shops that you guys would recommend. I do not have a girl, like I said before, so I have no idea when it comes to little girls what the heck to buy, what shops to go with. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys like to accessorize your little girls or even just some nice clothing items that you guys would recommend. And then lastly for accessories, I just ended up getting some socks. So this is a six pack of socks. Again, just the colors that I think she'll be wearing. There's some light pink, so it's kind of like a white off-white color and then gray and then we also have these little fuzzy ones which are super cute with the pom-poms and I know they're probably not super practical. Well, I mean, she's not gonna be walking at this stage so they'll probably just be super cute but these are the same color as well and they're just these little ankle ones. They're not super thick so I think they'll be good for the summer. Uh, and they're in a 3 to 12 months. My babies tend to have big feet. I've only had boys again, so my boys have had big feet, so I don't know if she will. But yeah, so I got her a ton of socks, and I think that 9 pairs of socks are going to be sufficient. Um, again, my babies don't like to wear socks now, but when they were smaller, you want to keep their head and their toes nice and toasty. Uh, but I think 9 pairs is going to be well enough. I do not need more than that. I do a ton of laundry all of the time. The only issue with baby socks is when you lose them. I feel like I lose my kids' socks all the time. Don't know if my machine eats them or if they just tuck them into the couch, but I don't have socks in my house, so. One item I forgot to show you guys is just this little princess on board sign, which is super cute. Again, I had the baby on board sign before. I don't know exactly why people put this on their vehicles. I've heard that like for insurance purposes or for, um, accidents first come first serve or who they go to first uh if you have babies or toddlers on board they go to you first now correct me if i'm wrong i could be entirely wrong but i know there's a purpose for these things and people were just joking around that they were going to put this on ryan's big pickup truck because why not <laughs> but no it's probably going to go on my car for sure and this was actually gifted to me from a friend of mine so i'm super excited to have it all right so moving on to the clothing items now that i'm looking down i don't have a ton of newborn to three months clothes so i definitely need to get more a baby stay in sleepers and onesies a lot of the time when they're so little 
And um, so I'm definitely gonna get more of those, but I was just kind of waiting to have some more spring and summery ones come out opposed to getting fleece because there's a lot of fleece at this time of year in stores. So I figured in the next month or two, most of their summer collection should come out. And then we love rompers for our babies for the summertime and just diaper shirts, onesies, whatever you call them. They're just comfortable, easy to put on, especially the ones that have the snaps because you're not pulling them over your newborn's head. Easton was born in July, so um, I have experience with all of that stuff, but yeah, I'll show you guys what I ended up getting this far. All right, so the first one is this super cute spring, summer, floral, kind of just really cute um, sleeper from Carter's. I really love the old kind of vintagey look of this. It kind of looks like something that my grandmother used to have or that I used to wear. It's just so pretty and spring. I love that it's zippered. I love my sleepers to have zippers on them. You're not dealing with snaps when it's kind of dark in your room during the middle of the night when you're doing diaper changes and it's just super cute. I also love that they have these little um, hand covers so that you're not stuck buying additional mittens and you're not losing your mittens trying to put them on your baby if your baby is a scratcher or has long nails you can just flip this up this may be her going home outfit depending if it's a nice beautiful april day april here can vary we can have snow in april or it could be you know super warm and nice so it's just going to depend but i really really loved the look of this one the second one i ended up getting is this little gray one and it says little sister on it which again it is super fitting it's the same kind of style it has the little hand covers it's a zipper and i just thought that this would be super fitting and cute and i love these little feet on the little baby girl ones they are so so cute uh yeah so that is what i got for sleepers for newborn like I said, I definitely need to get a ton more, so I'm shopping the sales, waiting for your recommendations, and just picking out things as I go. I also ended up getting these, and these were gifted from a friend of mine, and these are just long sleeve um, diaper shirts or onesies, zero to three months. So again, this probably will be a little bit bigger when she's born, but long sleeves are always good, even in the summertime with air conditioning and things like that. So it's just a four pack, I think and they're all like white and pink and they have like these little stars on the back which are super cute it's super good to have practical things when you have small babies things are going to be easy to throw on them real quick take off real quick it's really nice to have cute items as well but you want to make sure that you're being practical that your baby's comfortable as well they go from being inside your womb to not wearing any clothes nothing scratchy nothing cold hot it's just the same all the time to this environment where they really don't know. So it's really, really important that you make sure that they're nice and comfortable. I kind of went overboard when it comes to this last item because I just had to, it's so cute. I actually got a duplicate in a newborn and a three months. So I'll show you just the newborn one. So this is just this cute little daddy's little princess um, onesie with the pants with the attached tutu. Oh my gosh, guys, praise the Lord for little girls and help me in my journey of not spending all of my money on little girl clothes because this is like the most adorable little thing in the world. It has this gold lettering right there, which is super cute. So this may be her going home outfit too, if I could throw like a little wool cardigan on top of it. Holy Lancha, oh my gosh, help me, it is cute. Like, so cute. And I think that this will still be comfortable because it's a onesie with just these little pants. Throw some socks on it as well, and then we'll be good to go. So I really, really, really like this one. It was like my favorite, I had to get it. I wanted to get it in every size, but I figured we'll just do for the summer and then move on to other things. So the last two items that I ended up getting are three months sizing because she's gonna grow outgrow the newborn so, so quickly. These actually look fairly big though, but they're from the Carter's brand. And this is just this like super cute, I don't even know what this material is called, like Henley material. So th these again are just zippered. They've got these cute little feet on them, which is super cute. And it's just a basic sleeper. And then this one here is like a terry cloth sleeper. It says very sweet on it. It's super cute, super nice material. I've actually never had these for any of my babies, but a ton of people recommended the terry cloth, so I ended up getting them. And it just has the cute little feet as well. And then again, it has the zippers because I am done buying sleepers that have buttons and tacks. And I don't have time for that having three kids already in the middle of the night and like being tired and sleep deprived and running after a toddler all day. I am going to want to use whatever's gonna be practical, quick, easy to use, 
get to the point because when you're doing bum changes 10 to 12 times a day, when you're nursing 10 to 12 times a day, when you are changing blowouts and changing clothes, you just want something that's going to be cute but that's going to be easy as well. So that sums up week 28 of this pregnancy. It also sums up all of the newborn-ish stuff that I ended up getting for baby girl this far. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below your recommendations for small shops or different clothing accessories that you guys got for your little girl. I am so, so excited. It's going to be crazy. Her nursery is going in here like you guys already know. I've said it a ton of times. Ryan actually just painted our bedroom downstairs last week and I've ordered the rug and the beds on order and the mattresses on order. I have to get curtains and we have all the bed sheets and all of that as well. So I'm so, so excited that everything is starting to move along. It's a long process, but it's definitely happening and it's just so, so exciting. Thank you so, so much for sticking around. Watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. It is totally free and I'm just so encouraged to have you guys all jump aboard. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna show you guys my fastly growing baby bump and then I will see you guys you next week. Bye guys. Heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. You said my heart.